uh, Tasia, your character is probably the toughest person on the show. You know, you don't take any flack from Shorzy or anybody, uh, which is quite an accomplishment. And you run a team from behind the scenes. Is that resilience what appealed to you about the role? Oh, yeah, 100%. I mean, a lot of when I was reading the script, a lot of what I was thinking about was who is this person that's so resilient? and What is it that makes her so strong when she, you know, counters Shorzy? And I think that it's that she's unaffected more or less by she doesn't let those guys get to her. She just really has that inner strength. And um, that's what allows her, gives her the power to take command over the team. Awesome. And Blair and Kilani, uh, your characters have great chemistry as they tear the hockey players up. Did that come naturally or was it, did it take some work or what happened there? Totally came naturally. I have brothers who played hockey all my life. And um, <laughs> honestly, growing up in a hockey rink and the chirps and the back and forth banter is not new. So Jared made it very easy to go back and forth. <laughs> I will have to say that for me, I grew up in a house full of girls and the chirping did not come so naturally. So it was like flexing a new muscle. But I would say that I think everyone would agree that I can hold my own for sure. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Those are some great scenes. And um, for all three of you guys, we'll start with uh, Tasia. This series has some very long lines and they're delivered very fast. Is it difficult to keep up with compared to other scripts? I would definitely say it's difficult to keep up with. <laughs> It feels like you're running a marathon. It's, you know, it's um, it's its own language or its own rhythm. I call it Shakespearean Canadian because Jared has imbued this beautiful, like these punchy words and this alliteration and all of these jokes and and this flow to it that is very its own flavor. And it's just once you catch it, it you can just like surf that wave and like live in it. But um, at first, it was a bit intimidating, for sure. <laughs> Blair, how about you? Oh, yeah, uh, super intimidating because it's in a category all of its own. Like when you watch like Letterkenny, for example, like there's no other show like it. And then to transfer it over to Shorzy, it was something that was completely different, but it was such a fun challenge to do. And they made it easy. It's all in the writing. Jared made it so comfortable for everybody. And same with Jacob, which was really, really nice. They were so inviting, which gave us all like a nice floor to kind of play with one another and be able to bounce back and forth. So it was just a great time. It was so fun. Awesome. And Kilani? I mean, the rhythm is just its own thing. It's so satisfying to be able to play and engage with each other at that pace. It just feels like you're riding on a high. And then when we get to the end, it's just like high fives. Yes, we rocked that. <laughs> so yeah, it was great. Yes. Shout outs awesome. to like Jared for creating uh, that. Yeah, it's definitely a very distinct style. So I, I could see that being pretty tough, but a lot of fun to do. Yeah. And uh, Tasia, you know, we talked about the resilience, but there's also kind of like some emotion to Nat with her backstory with the team and the and the arena and everything. Uh, you know, was it tough to balance that sort of tough exterior with with that emotion or did that come naturally? I think it came naturally. I think a lot of women embody that ability to be resilient and, um, you know, and, and emotional at the same time. Um, but it's about picking the scenes too and choosing where you're going to let certain things show. And um, yeah, and there are definitely those moments throughout the series or the season where, you know, you, I would, you know, let people see more of Nat and we try it different ways. Like, we do some takes, you know, where she would get tearful and some takes where she weren't, wouldn't. And you just try to give Jacob and um, Jacob and Jared the opportunity to have a lot to play with in the editing room. So, Awesome. I think it definitely worked. And uh, Blair, what's the biggest difference between you and Zeke? Between me and Zeke? Yeah. Zeke has no filter, man. Like she really <laughs> just like goes for the jugular. She really does not care. Like there is no time and place with her. She says exactly what she feels and she's not afraid of anybody. I'm not afraid of anybody either, but she just like goes for it, falls to the wall. I mean, I don't know if I can say that, but I mean, like she just <laughs> goes for it. Um, so that's what I love about her. She's just so explosive and so fiery. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And Keelani, same question, but with you and Meek. I absolutely love Meek. I mean, she's a tough native and yes, tough native is redundant. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
it just, it speaks to my heart because you look at the story and what we're talking about here is the importance of sports and bringing people together, keeping kids off the streets, which is one of my character's lines. And it resonates so deeply with me because I grew up in a community of dance. So in the same way it translated over, it really helped me survive. It saved my life and full circle. I found myself when I was 15, 16, volunteering to teach dance to Native youth at the Prince George Native Youth Center and just seeing firsthand the positive influence that that can have. You know, we we really get to celebrate that with what we're t- doing with Shorzy. Perfect. And that leads to my next question for um, for you guys. How important was getting the representation right in Shorzy and, and how much did you guys contribute to that? Oh, it was paramount. Yeah. No, it was super important. I feel like there's such a lack in representation in in a lot of industries. And I feel like the fact that they were so opening and welcome to us and also like inclusive when it comes to wardrobe and when it comes to, you know, the values of it, it was very important. And they put that at the forefront, which is really nice to see, including crew. There were so many indigenous and like BIPOC, so many people around us that I feel like those opportunities were never there before. That's awesome. Yeah, that's incredible. And um, Mm -hmm. also, Tasia, um, you've also been in video games along with acting. How different is the process there? That's an interesting question. I find the process to be very similar. However, when it comes to video games, because it's very movement based, you are thinking about movement quite a bit more in physicality, whereas um, especially with um this with Shorzy and this style of filming there was I was thinking more about what the frame was going to look like and what is the composition of the frame going to look like and how um you know how are we going to be standing and how are we going to be positioning you know so it was less physical movement and the I think more of the play came with the scripts themselves but um otherwise yeah they're similar that's great and you know, as a Canadian myself, I have to ask, um, we'll start with Kilani. What's your Tim Hortons order? What's your go-to? Oh boy. <laughs> My indulgent Tim Hortons order is definitely a French vanilla. That's a good pick. Blair? I go with like an ice cap. And if I have to get, like, I get honey dip Timbits. Those are my favorite. Oh, so good. So good. <laughs> and Tasia? Classic double double and honey cooler all the way. Ooh. great picks yeah uh, and just uh blair did you have a favorite scene to record in particular mm, did i have a favorite scene yeah i would have to say i feel like the beginning of episode two we have like this long scene with the duotangs and i feel like that was just such a big moment for all of us because it was a crazy day the amount of work that we put into it the prep and like how long it was it was just so fun also to be so back and forth and to just like snipe out all these lines to one another it was just it felt so good when we were done it felt just like magic when we were doing it so hands down that scene was the most memorable that was a great scene. I hadn't heard the word duotang in 10 years and it, uh, <laughs> it, it snapped me right back. Right. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you guys for your time today. This has been a lot of fun and uh, you were all great in the show. So it was awesome. Thank you so thank much. You. Thank you so much.